hey there, this is Laura and today I'm going to be showing you how to make really quick and easy sugar-free sweets. These are perfect for yourself and your little one if you're trying to stay off sugar and they're also great if you're on a low carb diet. So if you're on something like the Keto Plan or Atkins. So to make your really quick and easy jelly sweets to give you a nice sugar hit without the sugar, you're gonna to need to take three fluid ounces of cold water and put it into a bowl. Into this three fluid ounces, we're then gonna add one tablespoon of a unflavored gelatin, just like this one from Great Lakes. Doesn't matter if it's bovine or porcine, i.e. from a cow or from pork, you're just gonna use it and hopefully have a really nice quality gelatin as well. Add that tablespoon into the three fluid ounces of cold water and then set that bowl just to one side. Next up, take your measuring jug again and pour five fluid ounces of hot but not boiling water. And into this hot water, we're now gonna add a sachet of jelly powder, sugar-free jelly powder. Now, just in case you're not using this particular brand, just so you know, one sachet or one half sachet, however you want to look at it, has 11.5 grams in it. So it's roughly about a tablespoon. A tablespoon is about 12 grams, okay? And most of this is actually gelatin. Um, it's obviously gonna have um, sugar substitute in it and it's going to have flavoring as well but a lot of it is going to be gelatin in there so we're essentially adding one tablespoon of flavored colored gelatin into that five fluid ounces of hot water okay now meanwhile we have got our gelatin here that's been in cold water and it's slowly thickening up and this process is called blooming and what blooming does is it allows the gelatin to expand and to hydrate before you put it into hot water. So it stops the gelatin from like immediately cooking and clogging and just becoming really hard to work with. So I'm now gonna add this bloomed gelatin into the measuring jug. Once that's all in, I'm then gonna give this a lovely stir. Now roughly what I've got here now is eight fluid ounces of liquid with two tablespoons in total of gelatin. One tablespoon has come from the jelly powder, the other tablespoon has come from the unflavored gelatin. Now, this is now ready to be poured into a mold. Now, if you haven't got a mold like these, like the teddy bear molds or hearts or anything else, don't worry. I've actually done one before for you and all I've done is just put it into a Tupperware box. That's it, simple as that, nothing complicated or expensive. And I'm gonna put that into the fridge and allow that to set. However, if you do wanna make some nice pretty shapes, there are loads of them out there. I got this set from Amazon, there's stars, there's hearts, there's shells, there's all sorts of bits and bobs and most of them come with a pipette too. So I'm gonna use this pipette now, fill up all these trays, I'll be back with you in a minute. So that's all there is to it. Essentially what you need to remember is to get the right measurements of gelatin to liquid each and every time. So I always make a small batch and I work on the basis of needing about two tablespoons of gelatin for every eight fluid ounces of liquid. And eight fluid ounces, just so you know, is around about 240 mils, 236 mils, I think to be exact, but about 240 mils of fluid. So that's the minimum that you need. If you prefer a little bit of a chewier sweet, then I would put three tablespoons of gelatin for every eight fluid ounces of liquid. So somewhere between that two to three tablespoons and you're gonna get a really nice chewy sweet. 
And the great thing is, is that if you are on a low carb diet or you're just trying to be healthy, as I say, or maybe you're just making a lovely little sugar free snack for your toddler, these are great just to make. They're quick, they're simple, they're easy. All you need really is a jar of this in the cupboard and some sugar free cordial if you want or this or like the sachets as I've shown you and you can make sweets within a couple of hours time. I pop them all into the fridge and they generally take about an hour to two hours to set but I leave them for three just to make sure that they are properly set and they're nice and firm and chewy. So I hope that that works for you. Don't feel the pressure as I say to go out and buy these just yet. Just use an old Tupperware box or a big pasta bowl that you've got lying around and you've got some great sugar-free, easy, quick sweets. I'll see you very soon. And if you like this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe. See you soon, guys.